Hi, and welcome to ABTV News, where we update you on the latest world and political news. I'm Kelly, and here are this week's headlines. Epinephrine injection kit for under $10. Costa Rica powered by renewable energy for over 100 days. And Chinese public overwhelmingly backs renewable pushes. If your child has an allergy, you're probably aware of the increasing cost of the EpiPen from Mylan. A Miami Valley doctor wants parents to know they have alternatives to the costly EpiPen. Dr. Marcus Romanello is the chief medical officer and the emergency medicine physician at Fort Hamilton Hospital in Hamilton. He knows all too well how scary it is for parents of children with allergies. Romanello's oldest child is actually allergic to tree nuts and has experienced anaphylactic reactions before. According to Romanello, the number of children with food allergies has spiked over the past decade or so. Which is why he took note when he saw the skyrocketing price of EpiPens. Mylan's decision scares Romanello because this sudden rise in cost is alarming. He worries about the parents that are, quote, literally having to choose between carrying a life-saving device and putting food on the table. He wants parents to know they can save hundreds of dollars. Romanello said, quote, I paid $5.89 cash price for this bottle of epinephrine. No insurance required. That's less than $6 for the life-saving medicine. Add an Altoid 10 and a syringe and you've got an epinephrine injector kit for under $10. All you have to do is attach the needle, pop the top, and draw up the prescribed amount. However, you do lose the convenience of the EpiPen. He says when your doctor gives you the prescription, they can show you how to give the shot. To draw up the appropriate dose, it does require some degree of medical comfort. And according to Romanello, it's not a big deal if someone were to draw up a little too much. In a setting of anaphylactic reaction, too much is not going to hurt. Dr. Romanello hopes this will help families who might consider saving expired EpiPens that have passed their expiration dates to save some cash. School nurses are allowed to give the shots so you can bring the kit into your child's school. Costa Rica has powered its electricity grid for over 100 days entirely by renewable energy. The Latin American country has been run on renewable energy for 121 days and is now aiming for a year without fossil fuels. As reported by Inhabitat.com, last year renewable energy sources accounted for 99% of the country's electricity and 285 days were powered completely by renewable sources. The majority of the nation's renewable energy came from hydroelectric power plants and a combination of wind, solar, and geothermal energy. In Europe, renewables account for over half of Sweden's energy. In 2015, Sweden's prime minister announced his country would work towards becoming one of the first fossil fuel-free welfare states of the world. Last year, Denmark's wind farms supplied 140% of demand in an achievement hailed as the key to stop global warming. Earlier this year, Portugal hit a significant milestone in its bid to become entirely reliant on renewable energy after running for 107 hours without using any fossil fuels. The nation previously relied heavily on coal and natural gas, but has made considerable efforts to increase its use of solar wind and hydropower in recent years. In 2009, an EU directive set a target of 31% share for renewable energy sources to be part of Portugal's energy mix by 2020. Only Sweden, Austria, Latvia, and Finland are expected to have a higher share by 2020, while the UK comparatively has a target of 15%. Over 90% of people in China are concerned about environmental population, and more than 96% believe green power could help tackle the air pollution that is afflicting many of the country's cities. Those are the headline findings from a major new survey of 3,000 residents of Chinese cities carried out by IPSOS and commissioned by the Chinese Renewable Energy Industries Association. The survey, which released on August 31st, also reveals overwhelming support for paying a premium on energy bills to secure cleaner energy sources, with 92.6% saying they can accept a price raise when buying greener power. 44% said they would support a monthly increase in their bills of 10 to 30 RMB if it delivered clean power supplies, with 90.6% saying they would accept a rise of up to 10% of the average Chinese family monthly electricity bill, which would equate to an increase of $1.50 a month. Ping Ping, director of policy research at the Chinese Renewable Energy Industries Association, said the survey revealed unprecedented levels of support for clean energy. Ping said, quote, 
Similar surveys carried out in the U.S. and the U.K. in the last two years found that 50% and 48% of U.S. and U.K. respondents were willing to pay a higher price for renewable energy, respectively. Compared with those overseas, Chinese consumers show stronger willingness to purchase green power and are ready to pay considerably higher fees for it. However, there are currently no options for consumers in China to select their source of supply. The industry is calling for the government to give renewables projects priority access to the grid and require energy companies to offer green tariffs to customers. As the director of the National Center for Climate Change Strategy and International Corporation said, consumers have the right to ask for better and cleaner energy supply and to have their needs met. Given the willingness of the public to buy green power, power companies should indicate the source of a consumer's power supply on their bills. The director made it clear that he thinks China should allow households and companies to buy green power. More than that, he thinks that the Chinese people should be able to establish a green power certification mechanism or be allowed to buy power directly from power companies. That will help to meet the demand of consumers for power and better the environmental quality. The survey found over 87% of respondents want their power bills to include information about the source of their energy, while 40.7% said they absolutely would love to buy green power, and 39.6% said they are very likely to buy green power. Christine Lin's executive secretary of the global REN21 Renewable Energy Initiative urged Chinese policymakers to accelerate the rollout of renewable energy. She said, quote, the newly released study by CREA and IPSOS demonstrates that Chinese consumers understand the co-benefits of renewable energy. As documented by REN21's Renewables 2016 Global Status Report, China is the market leader in most renewable energy technologies. However, the growth of renewable energy in China, particularly in the PV and wind sectors, is being stunted unnecessarily as a result of the curtailment of renewables. Lenz believes that curtailment significantly reduces the profitability of renewable energy investments. In the long run, that means it could diminish the sector's investment appetite and potentially slow renewables deployment. As she said, these newly released findings provide the evidence that consumers are demanding renewables and are willing to pay for the co-benefits that they bring. The survey comes just days after new figures from China's National Energy Administration revealed renewable energy accounted for nearly a quarter of China's power generation last year, predominantly from hydropower. However, the data also confirmed that curtailment and grid connection issues meant 39 billion kilowatt hours of capacity sat idle last year. This has been ABTV News, and these were this week's headlines. I'm Kelly. Keep watching American Bollywood TV.